But before we leave it, uh, I have to tell a wonderful story about the telescope, which relates to what we've been talking about. The telescope seems to be a good metaphor for psychedelics. When Galileo discovered the telescope, he was not immediately slapped down by the church. It took a few months for them to even sort out what the, the issue was here. And then, of course, eventually he had to recant. But in the year preceding his trial, Galileo was, of course, before the invention of the telescope, well known in influential circles in Rome as an inventor and, uh, and scientist, natural scientist. So uh, in his apartment uh, on the, on the uh, rooftop, he set up his telescope and would hold small garden parties for influential Roman citizens, among them great cardinals and princes of the church who were involved in deciding the issue of whether or not he was dabbling in heretical material. So one evening he had uh, uh, Cardinal uh, Roncalli, Roncalli of the Holy Office, which is the, the keepers of the doctrine of the faith, and uh, had him to dinner and said, uh, Excellency, would you care to look through my telescope? And the cardinal allowed as how he would like to look through the telescope. And so Galileo pointed it at the full moon, which was rising over the city, and the Cardinal peered into the telescope and Galileo said, and so, Excellency, as you see, there appear to be oceans and range of mountains uh, on our sister world. And the Cardinal looked for a long time and, uh, and said, yes, but, Signor, surely we can agree among ourselves that this is only a hallucination. <laughs> Well, it turns out they couldn't agree among themselves that it was a hallucination. And I don't think that we can agree with our establishment that what we perceive is only a hallucination. It is, and yet it isn't. It is a true hallucination. That's all I've got to say. Ralph's got to catch a plane. Go. I'll give you one footnote to the word hallucination and hallucinogenic. Hallucination, we generally think, means seeing something that isn't really there. Right? So then Ta Terence talks, well, but what about these hallucinations that are really there? And uh, long ago, we used to say, in the 60s, we used to say, well, hallucinogenic is not a good name for the psychedelic drugs because it's not a matter of seeing something that isn't there. It's a matter of seeing something that is there, but that you normally don't see. And uh, then I looked up the original etymology of the word uh, hallucination and uh, found to my uh, interest and delight that it comes from Latin hallucinare, which means to wander in your mind. Mm -hmm. It has nothing to do with illusion. Mm -hmm. Right. T a hallucination is your experience in wandering through the psyche. Mm -hmm. A hallucinogenic substance or plant is one that induces you to go on a journey in your mind. And that's a very uh, appropriate term uh, for that. And whether what you see is an illusion, a falsehood, a mask, or what it is and what it means, that's up to each one to find out. The so. greatest adventure still lies ahead. Oh. Do you want to say something? Shishi, do you want to say something?